Hey everybody, it's Aaron Aid here. We got our eighth episode of our Vancouver Canucks GMO commentary here on PS4. And guys, in the last episode, you know what? No, just a second. In yeah, in the last episode, we simmed up to the trade deadline. Look at where we are now on the calendar. Boom! We are nowhere near the trade deadline. Unfortunately, guys, I guess that um, th you know what this is. This is why you always save your game before you do anything. Because I guess what happened was I went to go pre-scout for some trades and see what moves we could make for this episode. And, of course, uh, we... Uh, here, let me just start the sim. I'm not making any moves until we go until we get to the trade deadline. Ugh. What happened was... Again, I probably made some pre... Oh, my gosh. And now we're going to just win every flipping game. What the heck? Okay, so obviously there's nothing we can do. No, Anaheim, I'm not dumb. I'm not trading Triamkin. Um, there, there's just a lot of stuff that happened. I'm really, it's such an awkward stuff. So much just happened five minutes before I started to record this even. No, I don't want Luke Green either. Uh, we're not accepting any trades for Triamkin. I just want to get this done. I made a mistake. Uh, I forgot to save before, and because I actually made trades, I guess I exited without saving afterwards, and I didn't have anything. Because I made trades to make sure they worked sometimes. Sometimes, not all of them. But I guess I just forgot to save, or something like that. So, that's a unfortunate thing that happened to me, so... Yeah, that's not great. So we're just going to basically sim up to the trade deadline. Hopefully our record is generally similar than before. Hopefully most of our stats are similar than before. And the problem is, um, well, now Thomas T Tatar is available again. I'm not going to go after him. I'm, I'm only going to try and do the trades that I did that I plan to do. Jimmy VC, our leader. You know I have to admit I'm thrilled in my playing time lately. We're just going to go number two. Hopefully that makes him just, yeah, whatever, whatever he was before. Um, yeah, I just hope, oh man, that is, I, it's so unfortunate, really. I've, ne this is for the first time I've ever had this happen in a series, so, um, yeah. So what we're gonna do is, um, I decided that, uh, we are probably a tanking team, and especially with this losing record now. Why does this make sense? Oh, it's a first round pick. Ooh, first round pick. Um, I'm not gonna take that. No, I'm okay. Um... I decided, guys, that I want to tank, obviously, and uh, I think it's it makes most sense to tank. But um, because of what happened, I can't necessarily just trade away all of our players now because that would have been unfair to know where, what we were going to do. So I have to go to the trade deadline, and if we're 500 or winning more than we're losing, then basically, yeah, I mean, we have to deal with it. Um, no matter what, I've already decided, uh, unless we literally just won all of our games and went to 40 wins, I probably wouldn't have even kept that. I just wanted to keep it generally the same. I have This is the first time I'm doing this. Uh, Barrett Jackman, top six defenseman. We do not need Barrett Jackman. Thank you very much. Um, as long as it was generally the same, I probably would have kept it. And I mean, I think this was around what our record looks like. It might have been a bit worse. Maybe it was a bit better. But, um, and I don't remember where we simmed up to, but I'm just going to sim up to the deadline to be safe. Can you please lose? Because we just, just said we were going to tank. <laughs> um, so, where do we want to scout? We've scouted the OHL forwards, I believe. Oh, no, we were going to scout uh, defense in the WHL, right? Because um, Adam Footson. So, I wanted to get the sim done as quickly as possible. That's why I jumped right into it. So, uh, now we can pretty much leave that. Um we're not accepting any of these deals. A first in Larson. Oh, it's 2017. Oh, no, but we are in 2017. Ooh. Uh, Philip Larson, I'm okay with giving up. Um, third. I wouldn't... I don't really want Larson here. And for that reason, like, it... No, 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 no. I'm not going to do it. Don't worry, guys. Um, I did pre-scout some trades for... No. First... Wow. They want to get rid of... They really want Triampkin. Even though they already have so many defensemen. You realize you're just going to make everybody mad at you. And then you're not even going to be able to sign them. So the problem is, guys. If we want to if we want to trade Triampkin, we have to do it now. Or we have to wait until 
like next year's trade deadline or later on and I'm okay with doing that there is a couple guys that I did pre-scout one team had a really nice player that I really did want that I really did want and we could even you know what I will show you him because I already did tell a lot of I did tell a couple of my friends there um, AJ and uh, stuff and how I was looking at a trade and I was trying to figure out what I want to do and I said and I'm not going to trade for this guy but Julius Bergman high elite right-handed 21 year old Swedish defenseman that's the best part and he's high elite and he's 21 he like fits into literally everything the only thing is again we can always draft Lilligren if we can tank enough um, if we lose enough and uh uh, although San Jose wants Triamkin, they don't want to give up Bergman. Um, multiple things. I would take on Tennyson because of his contract, probably two years left at 2.3 um, and morale. And I think uh, also another guy I was looking at for possibly even a fourth line center because he would be an option, Carlson. That would be for the next season. Uh, 1.5 left. So, I mean, it could be an option, but you know what? Um, the reason I'm deciding not to trade Triampkin is because if Bergman drops, then that trade is really not a trade I wanted to make. Um, it's it's mainly just because I'm thinking of doing the trade because, I mean, he's rated, Triampkin's rated as a top four defenseman. But he's not getting paid as a top four defenseman, so right now, once he gets paid, it may make more sense. So uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to try and make the trades that we wanted to make before. Miller is not, so I don't say I just want to go to Miller. So... I'm gonna try and uh, go to do the trades right now uh, that we want that I wanted to do. Um, they don't want to give up any goalies. I have no idea where Nashville is in the standings either, so I don't know if it makes sense for them. Do they want it? No, they don't want to. They're tanking now. They gave up. Okay, so they don't want Miller. Um, Ottawa was one of the other teams I was looking at at that time. Um, yeah. Okay. So that works. Um, what we're going to do, I think, is we're going to retain cap to make it fair. Um, can we take a second? That would be Dryger in a second for next year. Am I okay with a second for next year? Or a third? Third and retain no cap. No, I have, I have to retain cap. It's not that I have to. I mean, it goes through, but I just... It makes more sense. Like, 25%... Maybe, no, retaining half. I mean, do him a favor. It's $3 million for a backup. So I think, um, is there any prospects they have? I think I already checked this a, while, a bit. Martin. I know this guy, Brayson Martin. Uh, I think he played for the, yeah, it looks like the colors are from the Swift Current Broncos. Um, he's, again, it, but this is a really hard shooter and a really hard, a really hard skater, a really fast skater. So um, you know what? This isn't great, but I think I would rather have two picks for this year. And I think the second is a bit unfair because I don't. I I think guys, if you think about it in real life, like we were barely able to trade Ham Hughes, and he didn't even have cap problems for a second, just a second. That's all we wanted, and Dallas didn't uh, really accept that. So um, I think this is fair for Miller. Even Dreiger is a high backup, which is good. I know he's. I think he's slowed down in his progression in real life a bit, possibly. I have no idea. Um, but, I mean, I think this is more fair. And, I mean, we're getting rid of Miller to go in our tank so then we can get some draft picks and a, a prospect goalie that could turn out to be a backup. So, never know. And, yeah, it will go through. So, yeah, they're cheering in the streets. But, I mean, you have to think realistically. They're not actually cheering in the streets. They probably didn't want to give up all those draft picks for Ryan Miller as a backup. So, I mean, what did we get? What did they get? You got to... Oh, wow, I found Backman. <laughs> They're hiding. Everybody's hiding. Dryger. Hopefully this doesn't... I've never actually tried... Uh, hopefully it doesn't glitch. Okay, good, it didn't. Um, this is sort of a bad thing, sort of a good thing. I'm going to play Backman as our backup. Uh, Demko is going to be the starter in the AHL, and then we'll go from there. It should be okay. I don't see why um, it, it, there's going to be problems. Dryger, yep. You can get in there. You're going to be our backup, bud. So, yeah. Uh, minor backup, Willie. We'll get him straight in there. Um, NHL. Uh, wait, what was it? I actually saw. Besser is 86 overall. That is insane. Look at those shooting. He's even physical. Like, this guy, Besser, is going to be good for us. He's already a third liner. Oh, shoot. Maybe we want to move him up then. Maybe. 
Maybe I might be doing that. Oh my gosh, 33 goals in the AHL. He's killing it. He is killing it. Ho. Oh. Ho, oh, that's crazy. Okay, so um, defense. Okay, we don't need. Yeah, it's okay there. Um, so yeah, I think you guys understand this. I don't want to. And plus, he could come back to really bite us hard in the playoffs in the future, being on San Jose. He's only 22, right? So Triumkin. So we will sign him for next year. The problem is I do want to keep Adler for another year or two, especially next year because I'd like to make the playoffs next year. But, um, yeah, and our defense looks pretty solid. So, we'll, And I know you can't trade guys with one year left, right? So, I mean, he's a minus 16. Uh, that's a minus 16. What is he doing? He has three goals. I might have to pre-scout a bit more. Just not not San Jose, but an Eastern Conference team. And I, I think I might do that because I really, I don't think Tramkin fits in with what we're doing. I don't want to have too many defensive defensemen. Um, and he could, but he could become a top defenseman. So um, I will go and make the trade I was going to do. I was going to, I found a, a suitor for Burroughs. Hopefully they still want him. Uh, yeah, they do. And they actually would accept more guys. So I don't have to take back uh, Derek McKenzie. Um, I'd actually probably rather take it back a defenseman, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Um, do I want Camper or Akalaste? A bit more physical, but I mean, we don't really need a AHL defenseman, so. Yeah, we'll just take back a forward. Mackenzie's pretty good. Um, most cap out of them anyways, but I mean, we gotta stay within the cap, right? So, uh, yeah. Let's make that deal. It's not, don't worry, it's not straight up. We're going to take back a uh, draft pick, I believe. Yep. Um, actually, I like Mike McKenna. Can I take McKenna? I'd actually rather do that because I, I sort of don't want to play uh, Dreiger. I'd rather move him, move him out. Uh, Schneider, probably just keep him for till his contract's up or something like that. Uh, draft picks, is there any? No, we, we want draft picks from them. Um, I was going to take a fourth, so that seems to make sense. They want to give up McKenna, so that's good. I like I can actually use him in the AHL or in um, in uh, the whatever I can't remember. Uh, Florida actually no wait they they need some they already have some stuff. So McKenzie no we have to take back a skater. Okay, so that's okay. Um, let's take back Regner. No, I don't want him. Um, I feel like it'd make more sense for us to take out. No, we'll just take on McKenzie. Whatever. Um, uh, let's try win mi one million for Burroughs. Just, I mean, and eh, whatever. It makes more sense. I mean, are we really in real life? We'd be lucky just to get a fourth. Uh, McKenna, you know what? I'm okay with Lane Demko in the minor. So I'm pretty sure this goes through McKenzie and a fourth for Burroughs. Cheering in the streets. Yeah, resignation. Whatever. It's fine. It's a fair trade. So I mean, they probably need to give up McKenzie because he wouldn't drop morale because. He's a role good player for them. So we need to scout the WHL forwards game because I just noticed Patrick is not getting scouted. Even though we know what he is, I like getting the top guy scouted. So is there any other guys? Uh, Sean Mathai. Thomas Tatar on Col Colorado. They want to give him up. And I don't think I want to do that. I was going to say Triamkin. And they would take Triamkin. I guarantee you. Yeah, they want him. But, I mean, even for Tatar, that might not be a bad deal. Ooh. But they took it. No, they traded for him for their playoff run. They want to give him up, but they don't want to give him up because they just trade for him. It doesn't make sense. Um, you know what? I will um, I will go and pre look at a trade and see if we can find anything. If not, I might be tempted to do Bergman. But, um, yeah. So I'll be back in just a second, guys and uh hopefully with a trade okay guys we are back and i did not find a trade for nikita triamkin i decided that there was a couple more trades that i could have made and san jose was one of the um the the places that uh i found some interesting trades and uh there was some i'm, I'm not going to mention too many names on our team but i'm going to let you know that david quenville was one of the guys i was looking at along with obviously julius bergman now our right side for now is solidified with Goodbranson and Tanev. We do not have a young stud on the right side. 
So I would like that to happen uh, come the draft. I'd like to have a young right-handed prospect defenseman to really move up the ranks and become our top-notch defenseman on the right side. But I decided it makes more sense for us to just leave it and uh, not move anybody. So I decided, um, or I have decided right now, at least I'm thinking of possibly giving more ice time to Hutton and Triamkin in hopes that if they get good enough, I move Edler at the draft. That is sort of what I'm thinking. Edler is, he's an all-round defenseman, but I mean, I'd like to just give as much time to Triamkin and Hutton as much, like just as much as possible. So um, what I will do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna move, well, let's see. I'm gonna move Hutton, no, no, I'll just keep him like that. Um, do I wanna move anybody else? Uh, power play, I think it should be good. We're giving so much time to Barchi, I just realized. Um, maybe, let's try, um, just because I, I sort of feel like it. Um, I'm gonna put VC on the top line power play, but this time with, um, no, that's really pointless. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I think our power play has been pretty successful just the way it is. Um, so VC we got on the right side. Vertanen. Vertanen could also be trade bait as well, um, eventually. We have a lot of snipers, and I don't want to... I only want to have two or three in the top six or so, and then maybe one depth one, but uh, that's unlikely. Um, so I've been... I'm just trying to think and plan for what our team could look like next year and really the defense is something I want to I want to figure out I like Tanev a lot I want to keep Tanev I also want to keep good Branson and I don't know if he's going to be an elite defenseman because if he's not he's really only a minus five defenseman with tons of physicality and uh, I don't know if that's exactly what we need so uh, I'm really hoping that either Hutton Good Branson or Triamkin becomes a top-notch defenseman or Tanev, and we can figure that out. I mean, unlikely for Tanev now that he's 27 and uh, out of his prime, even though in real life he's probably the best defenseman on this team, um, easily, I would say. Um, but, I mean, if you look at our team, the only thing that I think we, like, the one thing I really am sort of, the reason why I was also thinking of, I will say it now, I was thinking of trading Granlund, um, was just because, I mean, he didn't seem to fit in our top nine or so, but really, he fits in better than most of these guys, and I think he deserves it more as well. As a playmaker, we only he's the only playmaker aside from Eric Stahl, so, and then Logan Brown coming up eventually. And so I like to figure that out, uh, what we're going to do. But um, I'm not sure if this is actually because Roden is not doing good. I mean, he's a minus 13. I remember in the last episode, he's a really big minus, but... Um, I'll have to think. I mean, Gr Granlin hasn't done too much. The only thing, the only thing that made me like it made it enticing to trade him was as a playmaker. His worst offensive stat, basically, aside from slap shot accuracy, is passing. So that's not good. And that's with morale boosted. Like it says 82, so he might be an 81 at passing. Like we can't have that. We need Granlin to be a good offensive playmaker if we want if he wants to stay on the team. And maybe that's just because I'm not giving him enough time. So what I will do is, um, has anybody played center here before? Anybody? Anyone? I will gladly take anyone. Uh, I know he Jake Vertanen's a depth forward. How was he done on the second line? He's a minus 10, only 21 points. He can't even beat his totals from last year. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put him on the fourth line center for now. And let's move up. You know what? Yeah, let's give Granlin second line time as a playmaker to go with the sniper and two-way forward. Um, and then we'll give Roden, we'll keep Roden, well, uh, how's Eden done? 10 goals, 10 assists, Roden, I mean, I think Roden's getting a good amount of points. 7 goals, 27 assists, so how's Sutter doing? I mean, it looks like they're, we're getting some good offense. I'm surprised our third line isn't better. It might just be Roden. And what the heck, Corvat, are you doing? Um, 24 goals for VC, so again, he's still getting the goals, and that's very nice. So we're going to try out this lineup. Hopefully... They the players can find their right positions, but uh, also hopefully we get our defensemen or are we still lose because I mean we now have a lesser goalie in only Markstrom really and then Backman. I'm hoping Markstrom becomes a starter for next year. We could have a goalie problem if he doesn't or if he's not. So yeah. 
but um, multiple things have to happen. Let's go and check out morale quickly. I'd like to get the season done as quickly as possible so I can finish up the, all the extra stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm glad you're excited, Backman. You, I think you can be a great backup at losing. Um, uh, Dorset, um, we'll be better off in the long run. You gotta be honest, because this guy, he's a, like, in real life, he's a lot better than 80 overall. He's an 81, or says 81 by morale, and I think, I'm not sure if he is just morale boosted, but he's still an 81. I'm not sure, I can't remember if I made him 81 going to this GM mode. I didn't, I know he deserves to be, he could even deserve to be 82, but I mean, like, minus four. He's a good solid player for the next three years. Again, maybe overpaid, but I mean, there's no point. We don't have to pay for anybody. anybody. So um, we're, we'll be better off in the long run. So work with us and trust in us, Dorset. We know what we're doing. Okay. He's, it's not negative, so that's good. I mean, do we want negatives? Do negatives make them mad so then they want to try harder? And then positive just makes them think, well, no one cares anymore? Because sometimes that seems the case. I don't know. But no matter what it is, hopefully we can start losing uh, some more games. There you go, especially against divisional opponents like Anaheim. That's very nice. Uh, morale, we got some. We may have a lot of morale with people being uh, disappointed. Mackenzie, traded, being traded is always a hassle, but I will rebound. I always do. Um, we'll just welcome him because he's not going to get really get any playing time. I mean, there's no point to play him over Rodine, although you may want to move Vertanen up just because you want to center, but... I mean, yeah, it's fine. So, yeah, but I'm really hoping that as long as we lose more games, obviously, than we win, a lot more. I want to have, like, 40 losses. I don't want to I don't want to go much past 30 wins. Not very much past. I want to just stay in the... Lo I just want to keep on losing because I really want a top five pick. Or a top four. Like, I want it so bad. Jimmy VC. Locker room is really a place I'm enjoying being lately. It's like a second family. Okay, this guy, seriously, like, he's even got the best friends. Aside from Eric Stahl, Chris Tanev, Sedin, and Berchi. That's a good pick. The only thing that would make you better is if you were friends with Horvat. Like, 23 years old. This guy is like, I could really see this guy being a future captain. He's, a, he's one of our only pluses. He's developing his game in every category. Like, what is not to like about this kid? He is just a beast. Meet with player. Um, happy locker room leads to good things in the ice. Well, I mean, if he's if it's really that good. Um, I have I feel you have it in to make things even better if you apply yourself. Uh, he's applying himself. I would demand nothing less from the team. Yeah, you know what? This is, uh, I want a good, a good locker room. And I'm glad that Jimmy VC is stepping up for us. Like, that's really, he could, I'm hoping, if I want anybody who I think deserves, and I think I hope gets to 90 plus overall, I hope it's VC Because he is, like, playing stellar. Like, it's just crazy. And uh, just out of curiosity, do you guys think that he we should keep him on the right wing and, like, like make him a right winger? Or, like, just in general? So... Um, unfortunately, we're only 34, 33, 34, and 12, so we're getting points. Um, we didn't, uh, we really need to focus this offseason and come back with our better, we can rebound from this. We have to learn from our mistakes. I have to be just number two because I need these guys to be on board with us next year. I, even if I'm honest there. Everybody goes through rough patches, Brandon Sutter. You know what? Next year, it'll be a better year. Don't worry. Let's get some losses here, guys. We gotta get. We want to lose here. There you go. Two more regulation losses right here against San Jose. Uh, and scout. Oh yeah, we want the WHL, right? WHL forwards. Um, let's go. Just three weeks. We'll do three weeks. We want to get some more places as well. Okay, we got a win to end the season. That's not bad. Um, I really am. I mean. We're not the worst team in the division. That's sort of... I guess it's sort of good because if we're the worst team in the conference... Oh, yeah. We were not even close. Wow. Okay. So, I mean, the good news is because we weren't the worst in the conference, this way now we we have... We're, we're, our morale for next year is going to be better. And we may be even able to sign some guys, hopefully. Uh, more than the the more than the teams below us. Um, Vancouver. So... Bottom, like number seven. I mean, Buffalo was the only other one that could have caught us, and I mean, that's just, it's fine. I mean, even if we lost, it wouldn't. Wait, that would have gave us two less points. Darn it! But I mean, what are you gonna do? That's okay. You know what? 
like being a bottom seven team that gives us not a great chance to move up but what what place was winnipeg weren't they like six or something when to move up or was it like columbus was at four um toronto was at first obviously and then winnipeg moved up from six so i mean we are not in a great position but i think it, like moving up may just take a a good asset maybe a second round pick and maybe a if we were, if we're trying to be realistic to like a top three pick, Jake Vertanen, which, I mean, Vertanen hasn't really stepped up in the past couple of years, so even playing him on the second line, so maybe we're rushing him too much. I, I don't want to put too much pressure, but Jimmy VC comes through with 30 goals. That is stellar. That's great. Only problem is, for some reason, again, once again, all of offensive stats are very good, but offensive awareness is the only stat that's not getting it there. And like, along with Deking, like, is it only the lowest offensive stat? Because that's just kind of dumb. Uh, Daniel Steen. He has 60 points. So I wonder if he's going to be here next year. That'd be nice. I'd love to see Daniel Steen back. Uh, Barchi had 20 goal a year. 45 points. Good for him. Horvat 41 points. Even at a minus 18. So you know what? Not too bad for him. 56 points for Stahl. I mean those are goals. So let's go into points. 59. 56. 53. 53 for BC. That's still really good. Uh, Stahl was our, one of our best plus guys, which is really nice. So, I mean, he came in and, you know what, he did what we asked him to. So, he's a stellar guy. Uh, Rodin, wow, he actually stepped up point-wise. He got he got fourth most on the team, 47 points on the third line. What the heck? That's kind of creepy. Um, yeah, okay, nice. That's good for him. Um, so, maybe Rodin will be back next year. That's actually an interesting guy. Um, assist, there you go. Penalty minutes again, guys. I want to sort of get this video caught up or caught up and quick for you guys, so you guys aren't like just waiting here. So Horvat was the biggest minus, but you know what? I still know how awesome he is. Markstrom, I think his stats were a bit better coming in, but I mean, you know, who did play good as a backup, and I think we could play him as a backup next year, uh, Backman. But that's only if we're more of a tanking team. I'm gonna say Backman, you did pretty good. You didn't need to do pretty good, but you did pretty good. So let's go to. Um, entire league i wonder if uh vc was in for rookie skaters in points if he was part of it rest in peace Provorov. and we got patrick oh never mind no 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 no. oh well i mean you know what he had the most goals he deserve you know what i'm gonna say right now he deserves it he deserves to be on in that collar trophy candidate race and he was a plus unlike many of these guys prince i, I think prince will get it well, yeah, he had pretty much the most amount of goals, plus 19. I mean, VC had 30 goals. I think VC could win the Calder. I hope he does. I really do. I really, really do. So let's uh, let's go. I mean, we could obviously check rookie goalies, but I mean, that's fine. Uh, uh, let's go goals. Uh, 45 for Crosby. Wow, Crosby wins the Maurice Richard. Uh, Tarasenko, Sagan, Perry, Ovechkin, still same guys. Nyquist, 34, Nash, Kessel. Not seeing too many other names. There's the assist. McDavid had 54 assists for 81 points. And, McD yeah, McDavid's up there in 93 overall. He's a stellar player. Uh, Nyquist, look at that. He's having a great year in Detroit. And Hornquist, obviously, with playing with uh, Crosby. He's going to he's gonna get that good time. Actually, he probably played with Malkin, right? Cause, or maybe he played on the left wing. Kessler, him, probably played on the left wing. Goals for goalies nothing that's unfortunate i'm not going to check the ahl it's just no point at this point oh well, maybe i don't know maybe i'll be nice to you guys backman played stellar <laughs> uh mark andre Fleury probably had the most wins so vesna could go to bishop though we had much better stats um i don't see hellbuck oh yeah he definitely played good for winnipeg so there's a couple goalies in here uh gibson's a top notch goalie now jones 87 cam talbot played lots of games yeah, Rask probably had a really stellar year as well. Yeah, okay, so that works. Goalie, rookie goalies. So Hellbuck actually could win the Calder. I wonder if they've ever actually given it. I'm um, probably. I mean, to give it to. Um, that'd be cool if Demko got a goal. Um, but that would be what I was saying was it would probably be cool if they. Um, I lost my train of thought. Whatever. Okay, so I was just going to see if there was HL goalies. Oh my gosh, Brock Besser is going to be ready for next year. Besser and VC are going to be our top-notch goal scorers. So if we get the chance to draft a defenseman, I think that might be the best in our best interest. I 
honestly, I really want to keep my own Bergman because I, I, again, I didn't want to get rid of Triumphkin, but I do really think Bergman could be the guy. And again, I, when I said like I don't like trading for guys that are uh, in that situation, I don't know. It's kind of awkward. If they're, if they're, I don't like trading for guys that turn into 60 overalls or that, tr what? I don't understand. Okay. But I don't like guys that I, I don't like guys that I already trade that go are already in the 90 overalls. I don't mind trading for a guy who's like 78 overall and then gets to a 90 overall. If that's what I said a couple of videos ago, sort of, that's what I meant. So AHL, let's go do the playoffs here. Sorry for knocking my mic there. Um, can we get some wins? Demko, step up. You guys can do it. Yeah, Besser, Besser and Demko, they're leading the way. Let's see if we can uh, get them up there. That'd be nice. Uh, against the Marlies, it's a seven-game series. There you go, four nothing shutout. Wow, uh, three two loss there. Let's uh, um, we scouted most of those guys, so let's do defensemen in the OHL. We'll do one month because those guys are pretty good. And again, we don't need many goalies. Plus, we got Dreiger. There you go, two wins, and there you go, five one four one series uh, in five games. So that's good. Uh, Providence Bruins, the AHL team, uh, the AHL, uh, the, the NHL affiliate, the AHL affiliate of Boston Bruins, and wow, Demko sweeps them out of nowhere. Wow, Besser and Demko, I th that's crazy. Eleven and two are both Detroit's farm team and Vancouver's farm team. They're the AHL affiliate, the NHL affiliates. I think that's what it is because affiliate is like, yeah, and so. Grand Rapids against my dad's favorite team's farm team. And overtime loss. Too bad. Come on, guys. You can get this. Demko and Besser. Oh, no, 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 no. I want to win the Calder Cup. That would be epic. No, are you kidding me? Another overtime loss. That's so dumb. This is more hype than the NHL. Uh, let's go. Yeah, uh, defenseman in the, oh, the QMJHL. Uh, that should be good for one month. And now we could lose. But come on. We got to at least take it. At least take it to game six. Got to use math. No, oh, it's too bad. And the Comets lose four in a row. That's unfortunate. I mean, they lost probably the better team. So that was a great year. Almost 50 wins for the Comets, and they made the they made the Calder Cup Finals. That's great. That's awesome. I'm super proud of the guys. Besser and Demko. I've never, like, Comets are one of the few AHL teams I usually see do well. Uh, Dallas Stars win the cup and HL winners. Yeah. So we checked out the player stats. We can check out the season stats for, well, yeah, we checked out the playoff stats. We can check out team stats to see, uh, where we finished or, uh, in other stats. We're not trading Daniel Sedin. What the heck? What the heck? I better, I better make sure I take him off surplus as well. So, um, let's just look at what we could possibly work on quickly for next year. Um, so I think goals, I mean, we probably weren't the worst in the league. I don't see why we would be. Yeah, I mean, we're not, do we're definitely to step up. Maybe it's more depth, I think, and obviously some more up front. So in general, yeah, and our defense was probably the struggling part. Power play seemed to be pretty good, 19%. That looks like a good record, yeah. Wait, what? What? I saw 19, and now we're 12. So we had the worst power play. Never mind. Uh, penalty kill, 83%. So with Horvat and Birchy, we did pretty good there. And Hanson and all those guys. So nice. Uh, awards. Uh, Dallas won the Stanley Cup. President's Trophy goes to Pittsburgh. Clarence S. Campbell goes to Dallas. Prince of Wheels goes to Pittsburgh. So Pittsburgh and Dallas just stole the trophies this year. Player awards, Sagan for the Art Ross, Sagan for the Hart Memorial, James Norris goes to Eric Carlson for the third year in a row. I didn't actually see if any of these, yeah, okay, different winners. Lady Bing goes to Tyler Sagan, Caller Memorial goes to Michael Dow Call. That's dumb, it should have been VC. Con Smythe goes to Jamie Bent. Dow Call wasn't even like the top six. What the heck? Or the top three? Or... Was he like in between the guys? So he had like a minus of something. Why did you give it to? I don't understand. Uh, Jimmy Ben wins the Consumite, which is good. It's not a goalie like usual. Uh, ben Bishop wins the Vesna. Uh, William Evan Jennings goes to Ramo and Hiller. I have never seen that. That's crazy. That would never happen next year because they don't even have that tandem. 
Bill Masterton goes to P.K. Subban. Perseverance and dedication sportsmanship to hockey because he was on one of the worst teams, so that's why, and he got the most time. That's basically how it works. Frank J. Selke goes to Jordan Stahl, steals it from Bergeron. Ted Lindsay goes to Sagan. Crosby wins the Maurice Richard. So many awards for Sagan and the Stars, and Ben wins the Collins Smythe. Crazy. Calder Cup, yeah, goes to them. Them Grand Rapids Griffins. Uh, Comets win their, yeah, just the, they didn't win their division. Uh, Brock Besser, more, most points during the season. That's great. Most goals during the season. Most outstanding rookie player. Most outstanding rookie player. Uh, Staylock. Lyndon Vade. De- de- sportsmanship. De- 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 what? Determination to hockey. There you go. So, all good, guys. That's it. Playoff tree. So, yeah. Dallas. Oh, they went the distance. Oh, they had to play against the Jets. They had the hardest time of the Jets and the Penguins. And the Maple Leafs make it to the third round. Oh, my gosh. And the Oilers make it to the second round, where they lose in seven games. So, basically, they could have won one more, and they would have made it to the Western Conference Finals. So, anyways, that was really impossible. Um, watch. The, both Toronto and Maple Leafs will be in the finals next year. <laughs> anyways, guys, longer episode. I hope you guys enjoyed that. So, in the next episode, which I'm actually going away this Sunday... So I don't know if I'm going to be able. I'm. I might record the draft um, on Saturday, and then, or I guess today, depending on if I upload if it's uploaded by Saturday. But um, then hopefully you might be able to. I might have AJ. I asked AJ about it, so hopefully he'll be able to maybe upload the draft uh, during the week. So I should be back in like a week or two. I think it's like we're going for a week or something. So. Hopefully, um, you guys will uh, be okay without me. Uh, I think we have some more stuff that's coming up, lots of interesting stuff. And so that'll be good. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this video once again. And uh, yeah, so I will see you guys in the next one.